In this episode, we're going to implement file uploads with Angular and Firebase storage. File storage is currently unsupported in the Angular Fire 2 package, but it's still possible to use Firebase storage by inter interacting directly with the Firebase web API. We're still going to use Angular Fire 2 for saving information about file uploads to the real-time database, such as the file's name and its URL location. The structure of this feature is very similar to the Angular Firebase CRUD lesson, so make sure to check that out also. It's basically just a form that accepts files, uploads them to a storage bucket, then renders the details to a list. The upload class will be used by the service. Notice it has a constructor for the file attribute, which has a class type of file. This class is built into JavaScript and it defines files that are passed via HTML form inputs. The service needs to upload the file to file-based storage, then save the details about the file to the real-time database. First, let's add the necessary imports, including the Firebase API. Here's how the push upload function works step-by-step. Step. First, establish a reference to the Firebase storage bucket. Second, define the upload task as a promise to put the file in storage. Third, monitor the upload task event using the on function. And last, we'll handle the events of in progress, success, and error. When the upload is in progress, we will take a snapshot to get the number of bytes transferred. Using some simple math, we convert this to a percentage to display a progress bar for the end user. When the upload is complete, we just do a simple database update with the file information. And then we can also catch errors here as well. Before moving on to the components, we need a way to delete files. Deleting a file only requires a reference to its location. Because we save the name of the file to the database, we can use it to locate the file in storage and just go ahead and delete it. Here's the code to delete files from both file-based storage and from the real-time database. Now we need a way for users to choose files, then upload and delete them. Let's start with the upload form component because that's where most of the action is going to happen. When a user selects files in an HTML file input, it fires the change event. Our template's going to listen for this event, then pass the event to our component, which contains a list of files that the user is trying to upload. Now we can create methods to trigger the upload function from the service. I created separate functions for handling single files and multiple files that will be connected to buttons in the template itself. In the template, we have a progress bar that changes its width based on the snapshot from the service. To trigger the upload, we use a regular HTML input that fires the detect files function whenever a new file is entered. This will define the selected files variable in the component. Then the user can click the upload files button to actually push the file to storage. That's it for Firebase file uploads. See you next time.